what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm going to be talking about three penny stocks that can potentially 10 eggs in a very near future stay till the end of this video to learn more about this penny stock with that let's get started welcome back guys thank you for taking time from your busy schedule and watching this video i really appreciate it if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss our great contents every single day with that let's get started the first stock that I want to talk about is sticker symbol ZOM, which is Zomedica. Right now, it is trading at 49 cents on Friday, actually grew by 22-23%. So my expectation for this company is at least to 10x, even to 20x in a very near future, especially by the end of March. I want to show you a couple of major reasons. The first one is, if you read this article by the month you fool, Zomedica announced it will begin selling promising to from a point of care diagnostic platform. This is a technology that actually detects adrenaline and thyroid diseases in cats and dogs. They're going to start distributing that on March 30, which is we have pretty much around two months. The product is targeting, which is projected to grow to $2.8 billion by 2024. So that is one catalyst. And the other one is Zomedica stock price gains accelerated in recent days after the company named Robert Cohen as new CEO on January 4th. Kohan has a 30 plus years of leadership experience in the health sector industry, which is he's going to bring that into the leadership of Somedica. That is actually a very good news because leadership is a key factor in a company's growth. Pets have provided many people with much needed companionship during the COVID-19 crisis. Using pet adoption during the pandemic actually helping the pet care industry to grow like crazy. Americans will spend a record of 99 billion dollars this year on their pets according to the american paid products association so medica upcoming launch of its through forma diagnostic platform appears to be coming at the perfect time as it appears to enter a booming market so right now the company is trading at 49 cents a share just imagine where this could be once they approve and start distributing this product a huge growth waiting for this company at least 10 to 20 x in the next two to four years if we see their pipeline right now they have three products one is through forma which is at the validation state and another one is zm20 which is at the verification stage and the third one is zm17 which is at the validation stage so zm17 pretty much works on cancer liquid biopsy platform this company has three products on its pipeline and on top of that, most of this product is going to be launched at a perfect timing. So keep that in mind. Right now, it is trading at 49 cents. I don't know. Personally, I believe this is a very good buying opportunity. So the market cap for this company is around $232 million. Compared to the market they're targeting, which is about $2.8 billion, where the stock prices right now won't do justice. I personally will start to buy a few shares starting this Monday. Now let's talk about the second company ticker symbol TNXP which is Tonix Pharmaceuticals right now it is trading at 90 cents per share I personally bought 600 shares on Friday already grown by 10% gave me around $51 I'm gonna add another 600 shares by Monday the reason I'm saying that is this company I personally believe has a huge growth potential I want to share a couple of things what this company does tonics pharmaceuticals it is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company committed to discover and develop innovative and proprietary new therapeutics focusing on developing biologics and small molecules they work on two main projects one is on our central nervous system they have two products coming on that area and the other one is immunology this is very very important especially if you see what is happening right now with covid19 vaccine needs that distribution this company is waiting the perfect timing to be able to approve for that covid 19 vaccine so keep that in mind so let's see their pipeline if you see the cns portfolio which is the central nervous system portfolio the first one is fibromyalgia which is their leading program right now it is at phase three ongoing to the next phase they have other programs like ptsd sleep disturbance agitation in alzheimer alcohol use disorder all these are in phase two and phase three ready programs and the other one is cocaine intoxication and overdose migraine and craniofacial pain 
these two are in clinical stage and on top of that they also have a couple of programs that are on preclinical and clinical stage they have another pipeline of products on their immunology and biodefense portfolio they're working towards a vaccine that is at the preclinical stage actually that is their prioritized program imagine if they can be able to get approved with that that by itself will drive the price for this to the next level and of course there are other programs like smallpox monkeypox prevention vaccines organ transplant rejection autoimmune conditions gastric and pancreatic cancers and radio protection all these are on preclinical stage but the covid-19 vaccine is right now the main and the leading program they have this is some of the milestone they have accomplished in 2020 and some of the milestone they're going to accomplish in 2021 right now they already accomplished three things of course the first one is study and fibromyalgia is completed non-human pre-made immune response positive results reported positive top line data from relief study and fibromyalgia reported and now in 2021 this is just getting started a lot of their reports are coming in the first quarter actually that is a very good thing including their covid vaccine initiation of phase one safety study for covid19 right now the company is 160 million dollar market cap i know the company is not profitable and a lot of analysts estimate that this company at least needs to go to three dollars current price is 84 cents which is way below the lowest estimation from an analyst the highest is three dollar and fifty cents the average is three dollar and twenty five cents even if it gets to two dollar and three dollars this company is simply gonna 3x 2x in a very short period of time especially they have a lot of good news they're gonna release in the first quarter of 2021 so keep that in mind and on top of that if you see their balance sheet right now and compare their liability versus their assets pretty much their assets is three times their liability which means the company is in a very good stand when it comes to financials so that is actually a very good indicator of a company let's say they want to fund a different r and project now they can be able to do that because they have cash that is sitting around third company that i want to talk about is sticker symbol chek right now it is trading at one dollar and 65 cents if you see last week it was trading around two dollars or so i didn't buy it when it was trading around two dollars or 39 cents i bought it when it was trading around dollar and 63 cents i have about 500 shares i see a huge growth potential on this company at least growing to six to seven dollars i have a lot of reason why i say that because the project they're working on that will actually solve a major problem this is a clinical stage medical diagnostic company engaging in the development of ingestible imaging capsule system for colorectal cancer screening they're completely changing the pre-screening stage of colorectal cancer in short crc so if you see crc estimated new cases in 2019 it was about 1.8 million people worldwide and 150,000 people in us and crc related date worldwide is about 881,000 and 55,000 in us these are not small numbers and crc estimated economic burden associated with crc treatment in 2018 that is around 99 billion dollars worldwide and 16 billion dollars in us so this product has actually a huge market demand one in three adults 50 to 75 is not getting screened as recommended why because if you really see the process of colon examination it's not a very convenient process sometimes people say stool taste and by the time the stool taste got back it's not effective and this company actually prevents that from happening because now they are revolutionizing how patients are treated pre colonoscopy that is actually amazing i can actually play a very quick video to kind of see how this c scan works c scan is the first and only preparation free capsule based colorectal cancer screening method for the detection of precancerous polyps before they develop into invasive cancer screening with c scan is non invasive and does not require preparation or sedation, allowing the patient to continue their daily routine with no interruption. The C-Scan system consists of three elements. C-Scan cap is an ingestible, single-use imaging capsule that moves through the gastrointestinal tract 
utilizing the patient's natural motility. The innovative low-dose X-ray radar imaging technology can see through the gastrointestinal content and scan the unprepped colon. The C-Scan cap scans the inner lining of the colon in a 360-degree arc. It records imaging and motility data as it moves along the colon path. The C-Scan track is comprised of three miniaturized patches, continuously tracking and recording capsule data. C-Scan View is a PC-based workstation. The proprietary software processes data received from the C-Scan track and constructs 2D and 3D maps of the inner surface of the colon. CheckCap is developing clear paths to commercialization in major markets worldwide including the U.S., the European Union, and Israel. With a patient-friendly C-Scan system, CheckCap has the potential to increase colorectal cancer screening compliance and ultimately reduce the global incidence of this highly preventable disease. I'm sure you guys got the overall idea how this product works. The company actually has a market cap of $76 million. Right now, the company is not profitable because it is at that preclinical stage. But I believe once they release their products, tapping into a huge market. And if you see their total assets and liabilities, they have more assets than liabilities, almost 3x. That is actually a very good because if they want to do a new R&D project, they can be able to fund their project because they have cash in place. But actually facilitates the process of getting approval and the other thing is this company has been trading under one dollar for more than 30 days so pretty much i can say this company is under provision so right now if this company keeps trading more than one dollar for the next 10 days it's gonna be free of that provision which is gonna spike the price big time right now if you see the price for the stock it is trading at one dollar and 65 cents this actually happened on january 4th and right now it is January 10th. So far the company is above $1 for 6 days. So the next 3-4 days if the company continues to be traded above $1. Then we're going to see another spike in price. Maybe on January 13th, 14th, 15th. So keep it on your watch list. I hope these 3 stocks kind of give you an overall idea of the Spanish stocks that I am choosing for the upcoming week. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not advising you to buy any of these stocks. But... Keep it on your watch list, have a strategy in place. At the end of the day, what matters the most is you having your own strategy in place and understanding why you want to invest in a company. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. If you really like this video, please do not forget to smash that like button. With that, I'm going to see you on my next video. Thank you guys.